answer that on Are camera? Are you allowed to? Am I allowed to answer that on camera? If I were not a doctor, would you date me? <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. This is uh, this is Kevin here with uh, yours truly, Mickey D. Mickey Rai. Some ASMR here. Today, what are we doing? This is podcast episode three. It's not a podcast, babe. It's on YouTube. This is a sit down with Kevin and Mickey, or Mickey and Kev, uh -huh. part three. In this particular episode, mm -hmm. you'll be sitting down and asking Mickey some juicy questions. Basically, Kevin came up with a list of questions that he thinks I will be borderline uncomfortable answering. But today, Kevin is going to confront me about all of those on camera. This is just all going to be censored. This is going to be like, we're going to spend 30 minutes filming this and it's going to have like three minutes of content. No, it won't be. I'm sweating profusely. I have no idea what you're going to ask me. First question. <laughs> <laughs> I think I already win. Can I answer that on Are camera? Are you allowed to? Am I allowed to answer that on camera? Well, we'll, um, we'll plead the Fifth Amendment here. Do you know. think that social media would provide you a comfortable lifestyle? Um, I think it could. It depends on what kind of lifestyle you mean. Okay, next question. Let's, let's tone this down a little bit. Let's do some mild questions. You've now lived in the Pacific Northwest a little bit more than half a year. Okay. Pairing this area with the Bay Area, what are some things that is better if there is any and what are some things that are worse? <laughs> I think he's asking me these questions because I've been getting hate comments saying that I am a big baby. I, I don't because... know. I'm just asking questions. That's my job. I will say that the summer weather is immaculate. The it's, weather is great right It's actually, now. it's better than California weather in the summer and being able to be so close to the water and being able to go out on a boat and hot tub boats and all that, I'm such a big fan. I love it. Um, the occasional rain, mm, kind of getting used to it a little bit more. I definitely don't carry my umbrella around. I will say the food is not as good. I mean, just like straight up, honestly, it's not as good, but also we're in a pandemic, so I don't know if these places just aren't open or what. The people are definitely very different. I mean, I lived in LA for a while, lived in the Bay Area for a while, and then now living in the Pacific Northwest, I think the people here are probably the coldest that I've ever experienced. Like, it's really hard to like make friends here. Is it because of the pandemic or do you think it's just- I think pandemic? it's a mixture of both. So I guess the, the conclusion from this question is that one, I need to find Mickey better food spots here. I mean, also I think my interests don't align with what the general like Seattle light likes to do. They like to go hiking and mountaineering and all this like crazy outdoor activity stuff. And I can go on a little cute hike, but you know, that intense 4 a.m. 10 mile hike, not really my thing. Next question. I don't even need to look at the my device for this next question. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the juiciest DM that you have received recently? The juiciest DM? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let me ask by saying, how many DMs do you get a day, roughly? Um, it really depends. I mean, there are days where I only get like 20 to 30, and then there are days where I get like 500. And so it's kind of anywhere in between. If you're asking me about like tea DMs, I think this year was particularly interesting because I definitely had some celebs and people sliding in my DMs that I didn't expect to. Do I get the occasional unwarranted pics that I didn't ask for? Yes, all the time. Excuse Which celebrities me. have uh... That's a truth or drink question. Okay. And then what sort of unwarranted messages you said you received? Pics. Pics of bananas and cucumbers and lollipops, you know? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Though well, Instagram has a nice feature now where it kind of like blurs it and then <laughs> what sort of hate messages are you receiving recently? I have never gotten so much hate in my life, but I think I this in this year have also grown a lot um, in terms of like my platforms and my audience and with more people who love you are also more people who hate you. And that's really scary because, you know, I have no idea who it is that's sending me hate messages and there are, 
you know, people online who claim to have known me from, you know, elementary school, middle school, high school, or from college who I'm like, I don't even know who the heck you are and I legit have only five friends. And so if you're not one of those people, you don't know me well enough to say anything about me, I feel like. And so it does hurt my feelings and it does get to me, but I am learning how to deal with it. I think I'm just like a fragile human, you know? Mm, no, I just think that, you know, you've put yourself out there in public and there are people who are just kind of behind their keyboard, not necessarily casually, but they're just saying things just... Yeah, I mean, there are a lot know. of things that don't bother me, like when people are like, oh, you're ugly or you're stupid, like, whatever. Or dancing is... I mean, I am like, sometimes I am ugly, sometimes I am stupid, like, it's fine, you know, I agree. Um, but then there are things that, like, are directed towards... For example, people that I care about or directed towards making assumptions about how that relates to me as a nurse or as a person. And those are the ones that like hurt because I mm -hmm. know that they're not true. Expanding upon your uh, rise to fame in the recent months, have you been recognized at work or in an outside setting? And how do you uh, interact with those people who recognize you? I think it's interesting because I've always been recognized in public like since I started my social media presence but I a lot of the times get a lot of DMs from people saying like oh I, saw, I think I saw you at so and so um, and my response is always like oh you should have said hi like I love saying hi and taking pictures with a mask six feet apart um, but love taking pictures and it makes me really happy to honestly say hi to people because I feel like sometimes you freaking get that they're like real people who <laughs> watch you and care about you um, and you guys are my friends. What was the question? My coworkers, there are people who follow me even before I started working there. And so when they hired me, then all my coworkers were like, oh my God, like I know her, like, you know, I follow her or whatever. I've always been really lucky to have coworkers who are very supportive and never have I gotten like any negative feedback. I mean, I don't really post anything that's like inappropriate or controversial anyways. It's mostly educational stuff. What is the, what is one thing that, uh... I do that annoys you. Oh, that is so easy. That's not even a tea question. Kevin leaves the food out. He'll pack the food in containers, like, you know, after there's leftovers, but he won't put it in the fridge. And then it'll just rot outside and the flies will come. And we have this conversation almost every single day. Right? But it's okay. We're what working on it. What do you think it. I'm annoyed about you? You tell me every day. The gum. Okay. And the tea bags. I leave the tea bags in the sink instead of throwing them in the trash can, which is like, you don't throw away. anything in the trash can. So. What about you? You don't either. I don't? No, you don't. Really? I'm always picking up. <laughs> I always. <laughs> What's going on? Is it we hate each other. Yes. Next question. Okay. If I were not a doctor, would you date me? Yes. And in fact, I might actually prefer it if you weren't a doctor. Not in a bad way. I love him. Just the way you are. But it is really hard with you working so much right like you work 100 to 120 hours a week and i just don't see kevin very often and that can be really tough like would i rather have someone who works 40 hours a week and i could spend a lot of time with like that would be really nice but then it wouldn't be you so that's okay i'll take you just the way you are i mean with your undergrad degree you could have gotten a really nice cush job right if you were in that profession instead i would be okay with that but i don't know if we would have met or crossed paths if it weren't for our healthcare backgrounds. <laughs> yeah, whatever you say. Okay. <laughs> what is one thing that is different about your online personality versus your real personality? <laughs> in I watched my videos from, you know, six months ago even, and I think now, if you compare my content now, it's a way more accurate representation of who I am as a person. My online persona is kind of my most like amped up version of myself, right? Like sometimes I can be, I'm an introvert. And so sometimes I can be really mellow, really chill. And then sometimes I'm like crazy and super high energy. It just kind of depends. I am way more sarcastic in person and I have a dirtier mouth in person way dirtier no that is not true when we first started dating neither of us had any cuss word said any cuss words and then one day somehow the water the dam just uh broke the damn dam just broke yeah wait was this was that in person or was it over text no you swore in person before kevin has red rage no i just honk i don't swear i'm like you oh yeah no <laughs> one thing that's uh kind of different is that when you were working at the
you were pretty open about sharing what you were doing or how what work you were doing. But now seems like a more uh, filtered. Why it's more is of a that? DL. Yeah, why is that? My first job, I did a really bad job of protecting my own privacy and it was pretty, I never explicitly said where I worked, but you could definitely piece together the puzzles of where I worked and what I did. Um, and there were just really scary situations that put my own security at risk. Like I, I've had some weird stalker situations and stuff like that. And so moving forward, I was super careful about it. And so, I mean, this is public information that in October of 2019, I left my first job. And when I left, I made sure to make it really low key and also not public about where I worked next. But then there were, people assuming that after October of 2019, I stopped working as a nurse, which is not true. I actually took on two different nursing jobs. I was working more than ever, but I was just really low key about it and I didn't want to share anything about it. I was working bedside and also my job that worked from home. Um, and even now, now that I've transitioned to this new job, I am very careful to say anything about what kind of specialty or where I work and what I do. And it makes me really sad because I think on the one hand, there's so much education and things that I could be talking about that could help a lot of people. I think I'm just still a little bit traumatized by the entire experience. And um, at the end of the day, my safety and like, I love my job so much that I would never do a single thing to jeopardize me being able to have this job. And if that means not being able to share it online and not having enough as much content, then so be it. That's okay with me. Good answer. Leave a comment down below if you think that we should confront Kevin next about his deepest, darkest secrets. So yeah, leave a comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, if you enjoyed it, and we will see you guys next week. Don't forget that you're a 10 out of 10, and... Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Don't let anyone ever make you feel otherwise. Okay, bye!